I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Next is corporate bills. Um, first is electric warrantless. Is there a motion to approve uh, the bills list? Okay. Uh, did you want? Did, did you? Would you like me to read them in the record, Mayor? Yeah. It don't matter. It could be you, whoever want to read it. Stan, I want to read it. You can read it. Okay. Um, read it. Yeah. So, because we have received a few different ones, so I'll read the ones after confirming with some of the board that. Uh, I believe everybody is comfortable with the June 30th, 2024 corporate payments list. We have corporate payments on the electronic warrant list, $357,675.40. Water fund register payments, $349,365.11. Sewer fund payments, $1,395.02. Total payments on this list, $708,000. $708,435.53. A motion that we approve the bills on this list. Is there a second? Second. The motion second. Any discussion? Call the roll. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes is absent. And Trustee Norwood. Aye. Motion passed. All right. Next on agenda is, is there a motion to approve the AP warrant list? Uh, is there a motion? If I may, if I can read this one into record as well. Corporate payments, August 5th, 2024 warrant list. Corporate payments of $1,237,156.44. Gross payroll for July 12, $430,104.70. $430, Gross payroll 726, $467,175.57. Melanie Fitness Center registered payments $1,244.32. Total corporate payments $2,135,681.03. My motion to is to approve the bills as stated. All right. Uh, any discussion? Is well, there I a discussion? I don't know if we have a second. Is there a second? Second. Is there a motion and a second? I have, I have one point of discussion, if I may. Go ahead. Um, I want to, these lists, I want to uh, give an acknowledgement to Trustee Stan Brown, who um, reached out to the administration and asked that items that had previously been taken off of old lists not be included or be put on separate lists. So the board actually had five different lists of bills. Um, there were two lists that the board, um, to my knowledge, was comfortable with and three lists that uh, will remain for further discussion. So I want to give an acknowledgement and just a little bit of clarity because I know during this time um, I generally have a list that um, we can hopefully make this a smoother meeting. So thank you, Trustee Stan. Okay. My bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I call them all my bro. She like, look, honeymoon, like, uh-uh, you too nice. Fuck that. I am. It's not about being nice. I just don't give a damn. You can't move me. If I see something, I'm going to share it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do what I want to do. You want me not to talk about your shit and not call you out. That's why y'all not going to win. You can't play my manipulation with me. I know reverse mind control. You don't want me looking. I'll be looking again. Anyway, let's go. Individuals <laughs> to try to lay them off. Um, I also told them that they will be sued for doing so. Shut um, up. But yet they still choosing to 
pick these people, which they said Keith Freeman gave them. So make sure y'all add him in y'all lawsuit um, to target just these individuals. Um, normally, when you do layoffs or consider layoffs, you normally go, you meet with uh, management this staff, and very, you go. Stop, Paul. This is very important to me because I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to start to get this wrapped up. I, I want to know why the trustees behave like this. Don't mind, love me. I love you, 100. Judge Petty C, I didn't want you in nothing, girl. I'm a good friend. I don't like drama. You ain't about to be in that, girl. But I could tell you now. Fuck it. I'll tell you later on when I call you. Um, anyway, yeah, this is very important right here. We're about to get to the end because my main question is what if you're scared, get a dog, and what the hell happened with these trustees? Because she started literally ragging them. I'm gonna be honest. Let's listen. She started ragging them line by line. Are you over things or what people can make cuts at and do things to make it make sense? Right now, people are uh voting with their emotions, so, or whatever it is. Again, the mayor had uh, no say so in this, they just did what they wanted to do, and you're supposed to sit here and talk about things and we get nothing. So when these things come. Cause that's your right hand. Hold on. Financials. Um, once everything come up, I did tell everybody that we was going to do a town hall meeting and relate to the financials because everyone's waiting on financials. We all are. Mm -hmm. So I just want to clear that up as well because people like to just say stuff, but they don't educate the public on how and the why. Like I'll give you another example. Do you know that we have uh, union contracts, different things that go towards a budget, but no one's telling you that. So once it goes to the budget, where's the extra revenue that you brought in to cover the budget amount? You just give somebody away, but yet you got to figure out how to Shut pay that out. And then when they try to cut things like, like I said earlier, before when I say it's code enforcement, why would you cut the only thing that where people course. are producing revenue? They go on, they buy tickets for people Good. that ain't cut their grass. Why would you, why would you lower the fines of $500 to people who don't even make a lot of money? Who before I came in was making $30,000 till I decided to pay my friends $75,000, $120,000. You know, why the fuck would you try to lower that? You know these motherfuckers broke, and I'm trying to break them. That's what she has said. Whether it's the bank or whoever, and other issues in our community. So what I'm saying to you is, you rather lay people off, like I said, peanuts, mm. peanuts, compared to and the. Then she said, she said, this is the very good part. Then she said, y'all not hitting a motherfucking lick with the things y'all trying to fix anyway, because I didn't spend billions of dollars. If they hitting the lick, this this what she said. That's what she said allegedly. Things that you claim is needed. So again, that's my statement for the record. I'm still all of this was included in a budget that we approved when they said retro was included. And then we have insurance that needs to be paid. So when we had all these three years of meeting, I bring back the bag. Yeah. I bring back the grants. Ask the accountant, has any grants been deposited? Absolutely not. I, I haven't any grants been yeah. deposited. That's let me rephrase this because I don't want nobody to say I'm lying. Grants that require audits, $6.8 million that we have not received, but we have spent $6.7 million spending the money before we get it. Now we're forced to sit here and take money out of account that we really shouldn't be taking money out of because we had that rainy day part. Well, you see how them two white men can just sit there not saying nothing? What the hell are they there for? What are they there for? This is some serious allegations. That's what they were trying to tell Tiffany. You keep talking about you got this money is coming in and she just spinning before she have it. Look at this. They are going to see if we can make payroll through the end of September. Wow. So why everybody sitting up here talking about we've been lying. They, they lying. I ain't took no first class fight. It's a warrantless to have. We didn't pay for the township. Um, Conference. Why the hell is we paying for the township conference? That's because they type their cards so much they can forget what are they working for the township or are they working for the building the doctor? Nevertheless, I'm voting because I know that it needs to be paid. My personal thought is they would get shit. Yeah. But I have to do what's right for the community. And I have to do what's right for the people that go out and serve us every day. So yeah. So basically they're telling you that they're gonna take money out of the the tip money and they're going to take money out that tax money and put into this account. I will hope that y'all don't have to do this every month. I'm just saying, I know this is a, a plan for the day, this month, but do y'all going to do this every month? Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Y'all ask the trustees. What, what, what's, what's after this? What's next? Okay. I love y'all, but what's next? Because y'all not going to be able to do this every month. Okay. Today I'm going to be lenient. She hit y'all with the 52 fake out. People need to get paid. That is understandable. Which I got about 30 days to figure this shit out. Because that tax money supposed to be going back into the
the people, not just the paychecks, because it's supposed to be separate money for that. Uh -huh. Okay, does that make sense? Ask them that. I am gonna vote for it, but I want everybody to know that the mismanagement of this as he said, no, I'm gonna vote for it, but I ain't part of this shit. Creation is beyond absurd. Gross. I mean, beyond absurd. If anybody ran their house the way this village is being ran, yeah. y'all need to lock them up. Lock them up. All right. Don't um, let me next. play my shit. Uh, That's not what I'm going to play. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go to the feet first. Uh, Chief Pete, about the contract. Let me see. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Again, uh, before you today is uh, the renewal for Bud's ambulance. Um, the contract is a three year contract. It's pretty self explanatory where they, the monthly. Well, I just like that's it. You don't have a point. You don't make appointments. You don't have no Let's appointment. Today, you have nothing on here that I want to discuss. It's about you guys wanting to give special counsel uh, authority to review insurance coverage. Yeah. You might want to answer that. Want to have that? We have an attorney. Do the, do the village of Dawson have? So basically, they don't, she don't want her, them to use a lawyer to review the insurance policy. If they need a lawyer to look at the insurance policy, which is a smart idea, why would you try to, why, why, why would you want to stop them from that? So that could just help y'all get out of the fucking rut. That's more money. Girl, you know how much money you spend on that leopard ass fake suit? Girl, stop. Why that points the attorneys? Y'all know this. So why we get up here and do the same dance and fight? Why? Yeah. We do the same thing. That's not y'all authority. You overstepping your authority. My authority is the mayor. I appoint counsel. Y'all know this. Y'all know y'all cannot give your attorney cases. You know that. Especially that's the one he messed why up. Why calling them your attorney? We already cleared this up. Thank you, Robert. Hey, honeymoon, I see you in the background. I'm going to bring you up, okay? I'm going to bring you up right in a second. Blessings. I see Um, Robert already cleared that it's supposed to be two, two different lawyers, a prosecutor and one for the village. Regardless, that village is supposed to work, that lawyer is supposed to work for everybody, okay? We're going to be getting to this first break, and then once we get to this first break, we're going to bring honeymoon up. See what honeymoon got to say? Honeymoon, don't ask me no difficult questions. So I have to answer them, okay? <laughs> Come on, make it make sense. Make it make sense. The same thing. Why? Area. Oh, that one after, huh? I, I keep telling you about some money grab. Like, stop. We're not doing so, it. We're, we're not. talking about the seat, seat versus the old dollar. I'm approving appointed special counsel. Yes, that's what I'm at. I'm um, um, this, uh, this is a case. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to say that. Okay. Uh, this case is too critical and, and a lot of um, it, it's been stalled. Uh, we haven't really gotten the, to the closure that we see. There have been some offers made and uh, still been kind of ongoing, so we want to make sure that there's a resolution for the case, and this is never to, to move forward. Okay. That's through the village attorney. You know that I want it. When the previous mayor was here, what do you do? Appoint counsel. So what makes y'all think it's any different now? Right. Uh, we're going to skip all the beginning steps, and we're going to go straight to under mayor's report. Um, I do have mayor, one I did have one announcement. I wanted to make it fast. Okay. You have another announcement? Yeah, just one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, because I, I, and I have no clue how I, how I missed this. Um, uh, uh, we did talk, we did discuss or mention recently that the board has started receiving financial information due to some of the investigator, uh, the special investigation, former Mayor Lightfoot. Um, we are pleased to announce that this Thursday, September, uh, Thursday, August 8th at 630, Dalton Park District, she will be giving her presentation of initial findings. Uh, so please all come out to get that. Um, so many, many of the issues brought up today were uh, kind of some of the snippets of what we got and a lot of greater detail will be provided. So uh, that's my announcement. Thank you. I just want to okay. Uh, Saturday, it is August the 10th. Team with the trustees, 930 AM, 14700 Evers. We're asking everyone to come out to Team with the trustees this coming Saturday, 930 AM. Thank you. All right. Um, on mayor's report, uh, we have an item for closed session, and that was for termination of Key Freeman. Uh, for the record, just so we crystal clear and no one don't misinterpret what I'm saying, Key Freeman is fired from the village of Dalton. He no longer will work here in the village of Dalton. So I'm letting y'all know that. So when tomorrow comes, no one can be like, he's still working. No, he does not. So I'm just making it crystal clear for what it is that is about to happen um, once we get through this agenda. But before we get to that item, I have three department heads up here that just need to give their report so you can understand what they do 
here in the village of Dalton. I don't understand how they missed that, but to show you they got their own agenda and they should have made sure you understood what each person up here does uh, as it relates to your tax dollars because the, uh, the village of Dalton approving the reimbursement of administrative, administrative expenses from the TIF district number two. Um, is there a motion? Uh, Mayor, if I may, I would like to bundle I through M. I will read a description of each one of them so that way we know what we're talking about and then the discussion. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of um, All right. So points. that's a motion to bundle? Uh, yeah, my motion is to bundle I, J, K, L, and M. Oh, and M. And M, like Mary. Okay. Hi, Mary. Well, you, you want to do M. M, you can't bundle because that's a closed session. That's one closed session. Okay, I threw L. You mean? I'll do I threw L, yes. All right. Uh, is that second? Second. Is that motion second, Colorado? I'm not sure if anybody had discussion, Mayor. I did, I, I did. Yeah, it's a bond, oh, bond, 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 bond and Thank approval. You. Second, Thank Trustee you. Belcher. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Motion passed. All right. Is there a motion to approve? I to L. Yeah, so uh, I'll make the motion. Is there second. a second? Is there a motion? Second. Any discussion? Yes. Oh. All right. Because then I want to get a flow to Pete after that. Whoever's going first. Okay. Um, so I, which is that we are transferring administrative expenses from the TIF district to the general fund. Um, when I just stated in previous uh, conversations, we are at a point where we're transferring money from a restricted account to the general fund to make payments, to pay retro pay things that in a functioning budget was already allocated for. What is more concerning, and I'm gonna say this because I've said it at other meetings, is that um, this money that we are transferring, which adds up to a little bit over a million dollars, they're stating are from administrative fees that have not been collected since 20, was it 2005, 2005? My question, and I don't know because um, this is my first term, that if we have a CPA that we pay $45,000 or $60,000 or $60, per month, when did y'all just realize that y'all haven't been collecting these fees? Then it seems more strange that we're at the point that we have absolutely no money that all of a sudden we, oh, we haven't been collecting administrative fees. Let's go back to 2005. Oh my God, 36,000, 79,000, which totals the retro pay that we need to pay uh, for the uh, sergeants, lieutenants and sergeants, the public works balance that we need to pay, all of this was included in a budget that we approved when they said retro was included. And then we have insurance that needs to be paid. So when we had all these three years of meeting, I bring back the bag. I bring back the grants. Ask the accountant, has any grants been deposited? Absolutely not. Why haven't any grants been deposited? That's let me rephrase this because I don't want nobody to say I'm lying. Grants that require audits, $6.8 million that we have not received, but we have spent $6.7 million. Spending the money before we get it. Now we're forced to sit here and take money out of account that we really shouldn't be taking money out of because we at that rainy day part where we're barely gonna see if we can make payroll through the end of September. So while everybody's sitting up here talking about we've been lying, they, they lying, I ain't took no first class fight. It's a warrant list to have, we didn't pay for the township um, conference. Why the hell is we paying for the township conference? That's because they swiped their card so much, they be forgetting what, are they working for the township or are they working for the village of Dalton? Nevertheless, uh, I'm voting because I know that it needs to be paid. My personal thought is they wouldn't get shit. But I have to do what's right for the community. And I have to do what's right 
for the people that go out and serve us every day. So yes, I am going to vote for it, but I want everybody to know that the mismanagement of this administration is beyond absurd. I mean, beyond absurd. If anybody ran a house the way this village is being ran, y'all need to lock them up. All right, um, next. Uh, uh, Pete. Okay, hold on. I want to go to Pete first, uh, Chief Pete, about the contract, please. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone, again. Uh, before you today is uh, the renewal for Bud's Ambulance. Um, the contract is a three-year contract. It's pretty self-explanatory where the, the monthly payment is in the same ballpark where it currently is now. However, in there, they have some built-in surcharge fees in the event that the fuel prices continue to fluctuate. So um, approximately 11000 and some change per month, and it's a three-year contract, and we're seeking the, uh, the approval from the mayor and the board tonight to move forward with the contract. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. Um, all right, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll I have a discussion for Apple Hill. So uh, my discussion is on the transfer. And I, this is just important for, for Dawn residents because I know that for the last few years, you all have seen us fighting for transparency. We've been fighting for the access to the credit card bills. We've been fighting to, for access to my viewpoint. The reason why they will not give us the access is because this is what they've been doing spending all the money and now they've done so to the point where now they need us. They have to tell us because they need us to do this transfer. So even though we're against it because we know that if the money was being spent right and if they were following the budget, the budget prevents this from happening. So just so the residents know, we don't want to sit here and fight every need. It really is unfair to you all, but this is important. The, the taxpayer's money is what we're here to do. We're here to make sure that every dime that's coming in and every dime that's going out is accounted for. So I just want you all to understand that you sometimes may see us get a little frustrated, but we're getting frustrated because this job should be much more simple. We are put in place and you all elected us to do just this. And if you didn't have us here, this thing would be way worse because we'd probably be transferring two or three million then instead of the one. So I just want to say that we don't want to bicker and argue in front of you all, and we are trying to save the community, but this spending and this mismanaging is just out of control. And that's why you see us trying to have a liquidation sale and sell everything because <laughs> they've spent it all. Thank you. I can't wait till the truth come out. I swear I can't. But anywho, anywho. Mayor, okay, I, have one, uh, I, have call one, I got one point of clarity. Call Quiet, got? please. Okay. Quiet. No, just one point for clarity. Uh, this, uh, the attorney is a special, is not Odelson, Sturt, Murphy, Frazier, McGrath. That's being recommended as somebody that was advised to us for a specially, a special type of defense that we need um, without putting all of the information out there because it will be in court. I uh, just wanted to make sure we clarify this is not legislative with counsel. It's a special, it's a special, a special niche of attorney that we are seeking to push forward. So thank you. And for clarity, we went through those steps as it related to a special type of attorney that was supposed to handle that case. But I always begin closed session to go more details about all of that because you know, like I know, when it's in litigation, you talk in the back. So can we call the roll, please, so we can go to closed session? Trustee Belcher. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Motion passed to bundle. When well, they have a leadership that is not transparent. Thank you. Trustee, you ain't getting a plug on my. You repeat the same thing every time. This is the disrespectful shit I was talking about. I knew I caught it. Do you hear this fucking broad? Ooh. ooh. Miss Bell, Miss Brittany. Blood of Jesus on you. Who you have the discernment? That would have made anybody get up and go across the damn room. Did you hear? She said, ain't you tired of saying the same thing all the time? Yeah, motherfucker. Because your fucking ass keep doing the same stuff. Excuse my language. That's what Brittany wanted to say. Let's play it one more time. She's so disrespectful. That is not transparent. Thank you. Trust me, you ain't getting a plug on my You repeat the same thing every time. You can't <laughs> the same thing. She's so disrespectful. I'm so done. 
Oh my God. I had to laugh at that. Yo, everybody started laughing. This broad said. Every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was a trustee. trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay. Uh, plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And yeah. I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Town? 2025. So those elections are the same time? They are. Bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Okay, next. A bullshit? A bullshit? I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N- nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.